In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an animation using PhotoP. So first thing we're going to do is open up PhotoP.com. Then we're going to create a new document to create our animation on. So we're just going to go to File and New to create a new image. And I'm just going to use a regular size sheet. Actually, I'm going to use something that is six wide by four tall. So you can make whatever size you want. Just know that the bigger the size, the, the more memory it'll take up and the longer it'll take to load images. Uh, so for our animation, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a background um, for our image to be in. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new layer. So first thing, I'm just going to select two different values here for the sky. Uh, in this demonstration, I am going to show you how to create um, an image that looks like a ball is bouncing across the screen. And I'm also going to show you how it makes it look like the ball is squishing when it hits the ground and then kind of extends back out as it bounces up towards the sky again. So again, I'm just going to create two different pictures here that has a background sky. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use an oval tool, the ellipse tool, to create um, something that looks like a ball here. Uh, let's go ahead and make this ball purple so it has some contrast with the sky. And I'm also going to fill this in with a gradient as well to make it look realistic. So now what's going to happen is I need to turn this layer into a frame for my animation. Uh, think of an animation as um, a bunch of still pictures that are played through rapidly to make it look like an object is moving on the image. So in order to create um, this frame or this layer and turn it into a frame, I want to be selected on it. And I'm going to go to Edit. Sorry, I'm going to go to Layer, Animation, and Make Frame. Sorry, the little recording thing. I'll just move this off to the side here so we should be able to see it. So now if you look at your layers on the right-hand side, notice how Layer 1 is normal. That's a background. And then Layer 2 has a little dash with an A and a dash. That means that it's an animation frame. What's going to happen when we turn it and save it as a GIF file, it will play through any of the layers that have an A on them. Anything that does not have the A, like layer one, will be visible in all layers. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So you'll see it has layer two copy, and it has that little A symbol. So that tells me that that is going to play through um, these two images. I'm just going to deselect this for right now. And I'm going to continue this process. Duplicate layer, move my ball. Duplicate layer, move my ball. The bigger distance you move in between, like if I was to move this layer over here, when I play the animation, it'll appear somewhat choppy. If I make the distance less, um, it's going to be more smooth, but it's going to move at a slower rate. Um, so it all kind of depends on what you want your animation to look like um, when you create it. Right now, all my layers are going to be visible. That way I can see how far I've moved my image. So what's going to happen when I save this, it'll play it from point A to point B or layer 2 to layer 2 copy 6. Um, so let's just do a little quick preview so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to go to File and Export as a GIF. So it tells me that my image is pretty large. I can press OK to reduce the scale or cancel to keep the skies. I'm just going to press OK and reduce my scale so that way the little preview uh, pops up. So now you'll notice here it shows it playing through each of these layers and shows that movement of the ball. Okay, You can either speed up or slow down your image. So if I slide my speed bar over, Notice how that ball moves at a little slower rate of speed. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. The next thing I'm going to do is make it look like the ball is squishing down when it hits the ground and bounces back up to this area. So I'm going to duplicate this layer again. 
But instead of moving it, I'm just going to go to edit, free transform, and take that ball and squish it down. So you can see in this area here how my original ball is this size, my layer seven copy, um, the ball is getting squished. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer again. I'm gonna go to edit and paste. I didn't wanna paste, I'm just gonna duplicate. I'm gonna go to edit and free transform. Merge it down again, hit my check mark. So now I have three different states. I have the ball, the normal size, medium, and squish down. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my layer of where my ball was um, the medium size. I'm gonna go back to layer six now, and I'm gonna duplicate that one because now my ball is the normal size and reorder that and move it to the top. Then I'm gonna duplicate this layer over and over again. You'll see control J is the shortcut for duplicate layer. So I think I'm just gonna use that option. Just to make it go faster. So every time I hit control J, it's making a new copy here. So instead of going up to right click and duplicate layer, I'm just hitting control J. I'll duplicate the last layer that I have visible there. All right, so now that I have that um, duplicated and I have all those layers here, I'm gonna go up to File, Export As again, click GIF, and it takes a minute for it to upload. And it'll give me a preview of that ball squishing down and bouncing over to the side. So that is how you start creating a GIF animation. Uh, you are going to create those layers and within those layers, once you start creating them, um, you're gonna go up to layer and animation and make frames. So if it has a little A in front of the layer, that means that that will play through on your animation. Um, view part two to see how we can add other images uh, into the artwork.